You see, because what happens is when your girl has these guy friends in her life, those guy friends are not going to be a supporter of yours. Almost guaranteed, fellas. Just think about it. Why would they support you in any way? Why? They're not going to. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane. This Gentlemen, greetings, and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to talk to you all about why she let her guy friends get in her head. Fellas, this topic comes from a patron supporter and he sent me an email stating that his girl left him because one of her guy friends, this guy friend that never liked him from the very start, was hating on him and convinced her to break things off. Fellas, why do you think that from the very start of my channel, I've been telling you that a woman who has a bunch of guy friends is a red flag? You think I'm just making this up out of thin air? You think I haven't experienced this, this type of situation time and time again? Oh, because fellas, I have. Oh, fellas, I have. When your lady has guy friends in her life, that she sees and talks to on the regular, it is going to be an issue in your relationship 100% of the time. It's gonna be an issue. And it's gonna be an issue because a woman who's in a relationship, who um, is married, etc. in my opinion, she has no business having a bunch of guy friends. Why, why do you feel the need to hang out with and be dealing with a bunch of other men? Why do you think that is, fellas? It's because of the need for attention and validation. It's like oxygen to some of these women. It's literally like oxygen, they need it. And if you try to take that ox oxygen supply away, they literally, they literally just start to melt. They can't handle it. You see, cause what happens is when your girl has these guy friends in her life, those guy friends are not going to be a supporter of yours. Almost guaranteed, fellas. Just think about it. Why would they support you in any way? Why? They're not going to. The first reason is because they know that if their girlfriend gets in a relationship with you, that their communication is going to be cut down. They're not gonna be speaking and hanging out as much as they used to. So he's already gonna be salty in that regard. He's gonna be salty. So he's gonna do little things and say little zingers and try to get in your girl's head as to why you ain't the right one. And he's gonna be gaslighting her. And he's gonna be geeking her head up. And he's gonna be talking shit about you, fellas, guaranteed. And he's gonna be hating on you. Let you and your girl have any relationship issues or let, let anything be going on between you. If she confides in him in any way, do you honestly believe that he's going to support you? I can tell you right now, fellas, he ain't. He's going to be the first motherfucker hating on you. Telling her, oh, girl, you don't, you don't need him. You don't need him. He ain't treating you right. Oh, he's controlling. He doesn't want you to have any guy friends. No, as a matter of fact, he's not controlling. He told you you can have as many guy friends as you want. But if you choose to have all those guy friends, then I'm just not going to take you serious. That should be the stance. Now, fellas, um, a quick side note. Are there certain instances where your girl may have grown up with this guy and he's truly, truly like a brother. Although that's going to be rare. It's going to be rare. He probably still wants to smash, but there are rare cases where, um, a guy friend is acceptable, especially if the three of you have all hung out plenty of times and he's coming over to your place and he's showing 
a lot of support for you and he's cool with you as well. That I have less of an issue with. But even still, you're not about to be going over and, and spending all this time with this man on a consistent basis if, if, if you have a man. We get, we, that's, that's just going to be cut down to some extent, to some degree. But fellas, that's a little bit more rare. What I'm talking about here is a woman who has a constant need for male attention, male val validation, male friends in her life. She fiends for that. This is a huge red flag. Because what you'll notice is these guys, these orbiters, they're constantly going to be around. They're constantly going to be popping up. They'll be calling your girl. They'll be texting her. You'll be with your girl and, and she's getting called by all these dudes, these friends. And you're sitting here like, I mean, you don't say anything. You don't say anything. Don't act butthurt. Don't get jealous. But you peep game. You peep game. And you take heed and you take notice of what's going on here. Why is this man calling you at 6.30 in the morning when you're laying in bed with me? What could he possibly want to talk to you about at 6.30 a.m.? Those are the, the small signs that you'll notice. Red flag. And so, fellas, when you start to see those things, when you start to see that your girl has, has all these orbiters and guy friends that she just is completely unwilling to give up, she wants to hang out with them a couple nights a week, you, you can't wife a girl like this. You cannot take her serious. I'm telling you, it is going to come back to haunt you. A woman that can't get along with any other women. She doesn't have any female friends that she can hang out with. Another huge red flag. Why do you think that is, fellas? Why do you think she... I mean, and, and I understand that a lot of times women are catty and they have a hard time getting along. But she doesn't have not one girlfriend that she can go hang out with. Instead of all these guys. But if you choose to enter into a relationship with a woman like this anyway... You're going to have to deal with the consequences that come with that. And that's that these guys are going to be hating on you. 100% of the time. They are not going to have your back. They are not going to have your best interest in mind. And they're going to be trying to fuck your girl. Especially if she's bad. They are. Now, they may not be actively trying to smash. But in the back of their mind. Oh, they're chilling. Oh, they're orbiting. Oh, they're walking around in circles. They're doing favors. They're doing everything they can to stay on this woman's mind. So that when the opportunity presents itself, oh, they dive in like a hawk. And they're trying to take advantage of the situation. This is what they do, fellas. This is what guys do. Beautiful women have guys in the friend zone to help boost and lift their ego to help give them that, that attention that they so desperately crave when their man is acting up or when their man is is not talking to them or ignoring them because she's exhibited bad behavior you know what she's gonna do she's gonna turn to those orbiters to boost her self-esteem back up She's going to turn to those orbiters, fellas. That's what they do. So my guy who wrote me the email, moving forward, you just have to make better decisions on who you choose to enter into a relationship with. Because I could have told you from the start that something like this was probably going to happen. But the other side of that, the other side of the coin is that any woman who allows another man to get in her head about you, that's not a quality woman anyway, because that means she's easily influenced by external forces, 
when it comes to you and her's relationship. And again, that's a huge red flag because she ain't solid. She ain't really down for you. If words from another man can fuck your relationship up, then don't even stress it. Don't even be sad about the loss of this woman because this would have happened either way. She doesn't like you that much. If she's allowing another man to come in and, and talk shit about you and spread lies about you, because guess what, fellas? A woman who is really down for you, she's not going to let anyone slander your name. No one. If you're a real one and she respects you, she's not going to let people slander your name, fellas, not when she's there. She's going to stick up for you. She's going to defend you to her last fucking breath. And I've seen it happen. So I know. And she's going to protect your name. By either standing up and saying something. Or just walking away from that conversation. And not really dealing with these guys anymore. But if she wants to continue to deal with them. Let her do what she does fellas. Don't try to stop her. Let her ass go. Let her go because they always regret it in the end. They always regret it in the end and they always and they always circle that ass back around. And if she doesn't, again, who cares? Let her go be somebody else's nightmare. Let a, let another man have to deal with this reckless ass woman, all her fucking guy friends, all her fucking drama, her bad attitude. All of those things, fellas, you don't really want in your life anyway. This is what I'm trying to explain to y'all. Cut it off. Cut the cord. Tell her deuces. Tell her sayonara. Tell her I'll see you on the flip side, baby girl. That's the mentality. So now, my guy, don't feel too bad about the, the loss of this little relationship. It was doomed to fail from the start. She's got too many guy friends. She's got too many influences in her ear, and she's unable to think for herself. She's unable to think for herself. So she let she let another guy spread lies about you. Okay, don't even don't even try to defend yourself at this point. Just walk away. And don't look back. Thank me later. Thank me later, fellas. Because again, let her cause all that stress in another sucker's life. Because there's always some simp that's willing to put up with that bullshit. So remember, fellas, you are the prize. Continue to work on yourself day in, day out. And fellas, if you found any value in this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Come check out my Patreon for exclusive weekly content. And fellas, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh.